So it's the going to implement so we can carry an item, for example, a jerry can or a gun or boxes and so on. So first things first, uh, let's go to interaction, interaction system. There should be enums. Uh, if you don't have a folder, just create one. Right here, we are going to add an enumeration and this will be a item type. Uh, we are going to add some so for example it's a non carry weapon I don't know how you write weapon a uh, consumable and I think that's gonna be it for now okay now let's go into our structures and item information so just add a variable called item type and take the item uh, e item type that we just created and I'm gonna put that right below item mesh save that go into your base interaction item because we have to compile it uh, to work I guess now let's go to items to items let's go to jerry can this one uh, there should be right under stat no right here item type this is a jerry can so that's gonna be a carry uh, for example a bandage that's going to be a consumable okay so that's that now let's just close everything up and we are going to go and start creating the visual thing so we have to go into our core, G core, blueprints, and the BP main plug. Because how we are going to do this is pretty simple, right? We're basically gonna switch meshes around. So right here, go to camera, click on camera, add static mesh, and call this. For this one, it's going to be a carry uh, item. Later on, when we add, for example, a weapon, we are just gonna duplicate it and have it as a weapon. For now, it's just carry item. And add a mesh, for example, for a test for a placeholder, so we can see it how it looks. A jerry can. Just like that. And uh, you can see the PV point isn't really accurate. Uh, what is kind of bad, but we'll see how it goes. I'll just move it like that, let's move it a little bit forward. So something like this for just a placeholder. Now just remove the mesh, clicking on this reset point. Now you can see the pivot point is right there. That's the key basically, that's where the mesh will spawn. For example, if I spawn a, a cube in, you can see it's gonna go to the pivot point. For example, this one, you can see it's gonna go to the pivot, uh, pivot point. That's why it's kind of, kind of important uh, where the pivot point is for meshes. So, if you want to change it, you can go into Blender and change it, and so on. So now we are gonna go into interaction system. Go into AC interaction system. And right here we're gonna write some code. So we are gonna create a function f carry item. That's gonna be a function. So we are gonna uh, once again we have to right here use item for example. It's gonna be really similar. So so what we are going to do we're gonna get this selected slot, get the inventory right. And from the inventory, get the copy, plug those both in, and break it. Now we are gonna check if item class is valid. So is there something in our slot? It's not really important, but just in case. And if it is, from the item type, we're gonna do a switch. Just like that. For example, it's a, if, if it's a carry, we're just gonna set it to carry. So, uh, we have the BP main player that we casted. 
and we are just gonna get carry item so this one get and set mesh set static mesh and the mesh will be the item mesh now to set it uh it's gonna be really really simple it's gonna copy all of this and paste it right here when it's false false and don't add nothing to the new mesh it should be empty so now technically it should maybe work maybe if we go into for example mouse wheel up uh, but right here we are gonna add carry item right here to this selected slot and to this selected slot and let's do the same thing for mouse wheel down as well so carry item carry item so if we pick this up, you can see, now we have it, and if we move away, we don't have it. Now, we have to add this carry item to add to inventory as well, right here somewhere, uh, right here at the end of it, I think, hopefully. <laughs> and right here where we drop it, right here when the spawn actor is, plug this right here and plug this back right there and there should be for dropping as well at the end of it plug that in well technically it should work let's see so if we pick this up you can see now we are cutting it if we drop it now we are not pick it up and if we scroll somewhere else it doesn't show that we are carrying it you know it just makes sense so that's pretty simple, that's how you create a carry system.